This is fine, right? Wait, <gasps> it hits both? I didn't know that. Oh my goodness, it hits both. <gasps> hey guys, what's going on? Specy here. Today, Sabertooth Tiger Shiru. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do because I've got all sorts of deck guides coming your way. Expansion season's here. This card has one of the best premiums going. It is so, so good in a Shiru deck. And the reason being, if you imagine I go first, normally Shiru decks you want to go second because you can play your carryover like all gods, circle of lives, and you can just play spell card after spell card, and your opponent is slowly losing their proactivity. They're wasting points playing cards that are damaging and not getting any points. Well, if I'm going first, I can lead in with Sabretooth Tiger, and it sort of has the same effect. The reason being, it's a seven point card that has a zeal and an order, so you can just use the order straight away whenever you want, and it's going to transform itself into an artifact. So this artifact can obviously be heat waved, but no one's going to heat wave it because, you know, that's not actually worth it. But then, at the start of my turn, it's going to transform back into the Sabretooth Tiger. So it's an artifact when it's my opponent's turn. When it's my turn, it's a seven point unit. And when it transforms back, it's going to damage all enemy units that are alone on their row by two. So if my opponent plays a card on an empty board, my Sabretooth Tiger is going to damage it by two. And of course, that means they could then row stack their cards next to each other and they could just not play into the second row. And then Sabretooth Tiger is not going to be getting two points per turn. However, in these Shiru decks, we have so many ways of just removing units like Rebukes, Circle of Lifes as well. So the Sabretooth Tiger, let's say my opponent plays a five strength, a five strength card, Sabretooth Tiger deals two to it. And then suddenly our Circle of Life can just clean it up and we get carryover and removal. And that sets up our Sabretooth Tiger for the next turn as well. Added to that, there's also the new Making a Bomb card, which I think a lot of people wrote off, myself included, which is dealing four damage because it's going to be the only card played. And then you use Making make a Bomb, it deals four. Solid. Rebuke's obviously dealing five. And a spicy inclusion is the Waylay. Now, my initial plan was to use a Samum because... I just felt as though I was wanting to remove my opponent's units to get my um, Sabretooth Tiger value, not wanting to use Rebukes. And Samums did a job at just four provisions. And this card, honestly, you could still consider. I've gone for the Waylays, mainly just because it fits with the rest of the cards of the provisions. But Samums, if there's a card you really want to fit in, you could easily replace Waylays. Obviously, for one extra provision, you get three points on your side of the board. So... It's what we went for in, in, the, in the waylay, and it's a really, really cool card in this deck for sure. A lot of the rest of the deck is just going to be what you're used to from these Shiru decks from the last few seasons. You just put good stuff in. You've got your Forest Protector, you've got your Heat Wave, you've got your Justice, you've got your All God. Nothing really too mind-boggling. You're going to be running a Becker's Rock Slide as well to deal with those tall units. A card you might want to try out is Circle Within a Circle. Couldn't really justify triangle within a triangle. I always call it circle within a circle. Couldn't really justify this one over Beckers because there's so many things that you want to be removing with Beckers that this card just wouldn't deal with. And Beckers is cheaper as well. So uh, as much as I wanted to, couldn't quite fit it in. Unsurprisingly, we're also running a couple of Sentinels and Agitators as well with the Sheldon and Gord package. No surprises, the auto include volunteers come into this deck as well. Mm. And to finish it That's off, we superb, have the main special. man, Truly. the holy, the chosen one, the Pella, the MV Pella. Dealing with defenders is really nice, allows us to save our Beckers, our Heatwave, etc. for defenders. But this card's great. Really, really good if you're going first, which is when this deck struggles most. And also, if you lose round one and you go for a long round three, this card's also really good in a long round three because you're going to have first say. That so works pretty well, the deck. I hope you enjoy the games. I think we mulligan Shiro, honestly, because we just... This matchup is not even that good. Come on, show me the Sabretooth. Yes! Right, this is where this card shines. Make sure you click it. Now, make it a bomb. Circle, circle, waylay are all going to just do a job. Uh-oh. That's an, obviously annoying my Nero's gone. But we could just choose to buff up our Sheldon. Like, look at the synergy. It's just built for a Shiru deck, mate. And it's so good going first. And again, this is what this deck struggles with. Oh my goodness. They've actually heat waved the Sabretooth Tiger. Bruh. Bruh. That wasn't in the script. Nice. Easy game. Never in doubt, really. 
Sabretooth eating the heat wave sets the game in motion. Oh yeah, Invo. Did Shiru get a new support? Yes. Basically, Shiru got massive support. Alright. Shiru sucks going first. But now it has this card. And this card going first is banging. Because you just play this card and then you like use uh, like Circle of Life, she's making the bombs, you use waylays and you just kill whatever is put down by your opponent. Oh, what a hand. Like, what could possibly go wrong? What more does one person need? Carry over? Nope. All God? Nope. Is this the worst hand you've ever seen? Making the bombs actually solid, mate. Oh my goodness. Times one way late? Is that all I've got or have I got two? Got two. I will flop off three heads with one blow. Oh, it's the making the bomb show. Make an A bomb. Sorry. I think we could just run bomb heaver, mate. I mean, like, look how good this deck is going second, right? Look how badly I've drawn, and look how good this deck is going second. What ST control? Yay. Hey, I'm the godfather of ST control. Don't ever forget it. Mm. A superb Don't specimen. ever forget it, Origin. If you hate this deck, you've got me to blame, kind of. I switched the target damage trigger at the end of your turn instead of the start. <laughs> I know the tiger, mate. So this is why I've got waylays in the deck. So the tiger will damage, and it'll be like two strength, and then you waylay it. I was going to use Samums. I was going to do Samums, but I just went for this. But... Unironically, nice. Even a deck full of Pellas. I reckon that's the best kind of deck. Sorry guys, this wasn't supposed to be this. Am I going to play stream side part? I still need to buy it and I'll uh, download it overnight. Uh, yes, but honestly, am I going to be able to play Cyberpunk tomorrow when Gwen expansions just drop? Mm, I was planning on. Uh, the stream is going to start earlier tomorrow as well. Get home earlier from work. About 4pm. Like four and a half hours away. So I'll basically start two and a half hours earlier than I did today. So yeah, I was going to use double Samum, but I had some provisions spare, and I realised actually Waylay is just Samum, but better. Because you put points on your side of the board, which means you could, you know, play a Waylay to overtake. Oh my goodness. Wait. What? Serious? Oh no, our opponent can interact with us! Ah! Look at what- I'm so sorry guys. But like, look how good this deck is going second. And now we've got the Sabertooth Tiger for going first. Seems good to me. You we just pass? Yeah, there's no way we put- Honestly, we could just mm. play an agitator. A superb specimen. Because we should, we should still have reach, right? What, we have one point, three points, and this would be enough, wouldn't it? Twelve points. So we'd have twelve, fourteen, fifteen, one leader ping. Yeah. We'll pay men back for their persecution. 
Can you retrigger harmony with a beast? Uh, oh, you can. Can you? Oh, damn, that's cool. Can. That's cool. But you also want to play the Sabre Tooth Tiger like straight away, right? I still feel like this agitator was worth just floating the idea out there. And like what you actually want to do. Because they might get nervous and play something Donny here. They didn't get that nervous, unfortunately. My opponent hates me. Can't blame him. But now we've got the saber tooth tiger going first. Still, yes, Uchi. I'm very well, mate. How are you? Hope you're good. Sand. Uh. What we more likely to um. I don't want to give value, right? Oh, late. I'm just going to go for them. I was just thinking, are we ever going to shear at four? Maybe, but we should aim for fives. It's just the ship we need to be careful of, but as long as we're just wearing, we need to be careful of the ship. There's no worries there. This card is so good here, chat. Like, look how good we are going second. And think about this card, like, if you're going first. And that round we just played, like... Can we brick it at all? Can we... Uh, I'm just going to keep this. It's fine. More than fun. Like, this card is so good in this deck, mate. It's actually outrageous. Because for ladder in particular. Oh, that's true. Maybe. Yo, Patsy. That's a very good point. They should uh, save it right to the end, innit? This card is so good. The ship's a problem. It should be fine. We can, um. Gags. And also, we've got a Nero for old matey. Okay. Can ex someone explain how Sabretooth is good? So our opponent is forced into, like, okay, Sabretooth's not going to do any damage now because they've just stacked this row. But they've kind of been forced to stack in a row because of Sabretooth, so their ordering is all dodgy. But the idea is you play Sabretooth, you flip him, then your opponent plays one card, right? And it deals by two. If you remove that card, he's two points per turn. And you can, like, clean up with Circle of Life's waylays as well. Like, waylays, and, especially Circle of Life's, are outrageous. You could win. Excuse me. Mm. And also, it just, like, forces your opponent to row stack, but. Basically, if our opponent didn't play the Ceres first here, this was just two points per turn. If we're removing the units, which we probably wouldn't have been able to with this hand. This card is absolute dirt, Brown 1. Like, if you're going first, oh. Do we ever not Shiru now? Is this ever not the Shiru? Crushing trap? Uh, probably, actually. You guys think it is a Shiro? Not a forest protector? And just wait for a bit? What do you want? You guys trolled me! I didn't know that would happen! Honestly, we could... Oh, we were supposed to kill this, innit? 
We're supposed to kill this, because then Sabretooth starts getting value. Oh, no! Oh. If the Tiger's supposed to race that, wouldn't it be worth putting in... No, 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 no. I don't think that card's good. Because, Seppi, with the card, right? Think how late in the round that's actually going to find value. We were supposed to kill this and then... Oh, no! It's fine. I have, a, I have a way around it. So we kill this now. We learn from the air of our ways. And now we forest protector. Oh, no. Uh, I was going to forest protect for a circle, but never mind. I'll just forest protect for... I've made my decision. I just want to do it, all right? The main thing here is... I just want my Sabertooth Tiger to get some more value. How does this deck beat V? I have no idea, mate. I'll find out. We've got Heat Wave. I guess that's the question. We'll have to find out. Probably a bad matchup. But... I mean... Don't they need, like, Slizards and stuff to stick? That deck? Don't we just kill all the slizards? Mm, but like, look at this, mate. Dream. It's outrageous. Now, this is where, like, our waylay would come in. Like, look at the circle of life waylay value here. We just hadn't spent them all around one. Jeez Louise. That was a mill. <laughs> nice, should we just try playing some? It didn't go that well for me, I'll be honest. I'll give it another spin. I think I'm just getting baited by putting Poet in my deck, unfortunately. <laughs> it's so good. It really wasn't. It really was not. Don't know why our opponent's still playing, to be honest. Uh, imagine we still lose, though. Hmm. We're not that far ahead, actually, are we, really? Okay. Are we finally going to find some value again off my tiger? One tiger. I believe in you. Ooh. Hit the one. Hit the one. Yes. Don't click the tiger, all right? Oh, I forgot about the tiger value. The crushing trap? The fire trap? What, you mean making a bomb? You mean making a bomb? It flips back and forth. Yeah, mate. card's crazy good in this deck. It's so cool. Okay, I would say my optimism is like a 9.5 out of 10, this deck. Yo, Chris. I hope you're good, mate. Nice to see you. Have you been uh, playing any new expansion at all? You bore me, so vanish. Uh, I don't think so, Atom. I think you're right. The evil dumps to me. Will it though? Will it though? Will it, though? 
don't like so how does v get points i can't say i've played against it much how, how does v get points mm, a superb specimen truly but how it needs slizards i kill slizards barbagazis i kill them so how are you gonna consume v over and over if i'm just not letting you it has horn i've got heat wave but yeah okay horn sure but i mean you can't horn a hundred times in it you get what i'm saying How am I missing all my carryover so so frequently? Okay, we've only played two games. Yeah, but guys, like we don't get we don't get dumpstered by it. Like it's not a good matchup. But I'm gonna go and throw it out there, it's winnable. We just set up a fat Shinru. I don't know, we'd probably lose the matchup sure, but I'm not going to pretend that it's not a bad matchup for us, because clearly it is, but... I hope I finish you, oh god. We'll have to wait and see in it. It's worth a rebuke, probably. Just try and get some more engines out of the opponent. Frigate down. Uh, I can link you this Shiro deck after this game. I'll just see if I want to make any adjustments, I think. I did win the last game, mate. Yeah. Com really, really comfortably. Passing now is kind of trolling, but... Is a Wild Hunt theme deck viable? Uh... Probably not. Eh, not really, mate. We don't really want to pass in it. Let's see what happens. Honestly... Let's see what happens. I have so much control, I don't really see why it's not a good idea to pass. And the all god. That's nice. Justice would have been good for sure. Whoa. Disturb a god and rest, mortal. Oh, mortal. Okay. Everything got fixed, yeah. Alright, so here's how the saber tooth is gonna do bits. Unless our opponent has drawn the Talus, then it's not gonna do bits. But look at the Sabretooth. It's good when you lose. It's only bad when you get bled, which honestly with Shuri decks is of course a danger. We probably should keep the Pella. We should probably keep this. Yes, we lose the making a bomb. We need to find the circle, right? I missed Gord. Classic. We're playing around Baron. Let's go, Baron. So you could just play like full on immunity, but honestly, that's just bad. Like, you need points this expansion. Because you can't just rely on Shuri to win you the game. 
Yeah, so there's the defender, which is why we have got the main pillar man. So we could Beckers plus Leader. But that's only for Sabertooth value. I guess we always get Sabertooth value later on anyway. We probably just take the Pella value in it. And save the Beckers for... We definitely save the Beckers for something else. Ah, uh, poor Sabertooth. Actual Corvo player get Shrek on son. Get absolutely dominated. God, I hate that card. I know, mate. What is wrong with people? S, it's such an SMH. Like, why do that to yourself? Guys, Draconis is an Arch Griffin player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it actually is probably in it. Why do I hate Corvo? The, the cards just. Oh, I just hate it, mate. It's just so, like, unenjoyable. There's nothing fun about the card. It's like, do you have the answer? Yes. Okay, you're fine. Do you not have the answer? Okay, you lose. GG. Rip. You lost the game. Unlucky sunshine. I'll do a video about it at some point. It's just so boring, mate. It's like, yep, okay, I've got a defender. Yep, I've got this guy. Yep, I've got a shield for him. Can you answer it? Nope. Okay, you lose. Unlucky. Not fun. It's the only card I don't have crafted. You get me. Mate, this guy's got Arch Griffin in his deck. Almost definitely. He's just trolling though. Cod's not good. We will not delay the cod. The sooner the better. Are we still gonna lose? Looking like it could be a loss, to be honest. How do we miss an era? Making a bomb would have been so good here too. Like, oh, yeah, it would have been. Bang! Bang, bang, bang! bang. So Sheldon's actually probably the play here. Because we want the sh this to go on shooting, innit? Because I'm pretty sure we're getting barrened anyway. The Gord is probably fine to have missed. And now Shear is at 5. This is a four, so it's not really our sure anyway. Oh! Sabertooth Tiger value, mate! Oh! Let's go! Oh! No! Why trolling? No! Bad. You naughty boy. <laughs> Opponent. Opponent. Damn it. Do we, do we have a full leader here? Uh, do we have a full leader here? So I sure because this comes in at five in it. Um, I think we do.
We lose a point. But if they were rowlocked at the front, which they are, spoiler alert, we would have rather had the need of. Nah. This is fine, right? Wait! <gasps> it hits both? I didn't know that. Oh my goodness, it hits both. <gasps> oh my god. The, uh, don't click it. So I actually threw away a point here because I could have hit the armor off Donomir. I should have one more point. I didn't actually throw away any points on my leader. But I did because I hit. didn't hit the armor off. I did because I'm an idiot, basically. Oh, yeah! Let's go. 